Charlie Parsons, Fight Hub TV. Delighted to be joined here by a man with, don't even need to introduce you really, Timothy Bradley. How are you, brother? I'm doing very well, man. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Let's go straight into it. I know you're a busy, busy man. Lots of media obligations, I'm sure. We've just seen the first face-off between Tyson Fury and Dillian White. What can you take from it? Uh, I see respect. Uh, that's what I see. I see respect for, for each other. Um, I see history right there. Even if I didn't know that they were, you know, had some history, I see it there in their eyes. Um, I think that both guys, they understand what they're up against. They understand what they're up against. You know, Tyson Fury understands that D Dillian White, he wants what he has. And he's trained, you know, his body and his mind to be prepared for that. And same thing with, uh, with uh, Dillian White. Same exact thing. So, um, cordial, calm before the storm. I think Saturday night, I think we'll have a hell of a fight. Did you expect the press conference to be a bit more fiery, perhaps? Yeah, I did. I truly did. I thought that Fury would dig into to White. But I think that... I think it's a mental game by Fury, to be honest with you. A lot of people saying, like, oh, Dillian White, he's been avoiding things because, of you know, he wants to try to affect Tyson Fury mentally. But the fact that Fury came in with, with a lot of respect and, and, showed, and showed him, you know, tons of support and respect and just love, you know, he's kind of trying to calm down. I think he's trying to calm down Dillian White. He doesn't want him to come out swinging crazy. He's kind of, kind of trying to, like, brother-in-law, I would say. Brother-in-law, so... Um, I think it's a mental. I think it's a mental game for Tyson Fury. I know you've got Dean next to you, so I don't want to piss anyone off. But obviously, you know, I've got to push you for a prediction. Tyson Fury goes into this fight as a favourite. Um, do you expect Tyson Fury, based off his performances with Wilder, with Klitschko, the best Tyson Fury? Do you believe beats Dillian White? Yeah, I, I think so, without a doubt. Um, he just needs to be. He just needs to be. He just needs to be careful. That's it. He just needs to be careful. Um, if he if he plays if he pays homage to his defense after he punches, he should be fine. I think Fury is just a better fighter uh, all the way across the board. Um, Dillian is a fantastic fighter. He really is. Um, but Fury is just bigger, longer, smarter. I think, and has more 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 tools to his, to his bag. So his bag of tricks. So I'm gonna uh, go Tyson Fury. By KO? Yeah. Okay, and then just a right hand or uppercut. And then just a few more from me, uh, stateside, we've got Shakur Stevenson against Oscar Valdez in what is an absolutely brilliant, brilliant fight. Um, just your prediction and how do you see that fight? You know, I don't, I don't really want to count out Oscar Valdez. I think he has a puncher's chance. I think, I think Shakur Stevenson is brilliant, has a brilliant mind, a brilliant boxing IQ. So I would, I would have to lean more towards the boxer here, um, Shakur Stevenson. I think he's going to move and do whatever it takes, punch, counter punch, do whatever it takes to, to kind of isolate uh, Oscar Valdez and his game and what he brings. So, I would say Shakur Stevenson. I would say eight eight rounds to four. I think he wins the fight. And then Canelo Bivol. Um, I, I would have to say it's Canelo. I mean, I, I've said in the past that. How can you doubt that man? Look, look, I said in the past that Bivol does have a chance, and he does, and I think he does. He, he really does, but. What he needs to do is he needs to stay off the ropes. Um, if he stays off the ropes and keeps the fight in the center of the ring, then he'll have a, he'll have a really good chance of beating Canelo because he's quick, he's strong, he's powerful. Uh, he understands how to fight against a high guard that Canelo uses. Uh, he likes to punch in between. He can uh, punch in between that guard of Canelo and come around it as well. So, um, And just his good footwork, in and out movement, kind of confused Canelo. But... Got to stay off those ropes. If you don't stay off the ropes, it could be night-night for Bivol. I think that's where he's going to be. Uh, it's going to be most dangerous for him is against the ropes. So. And then my last one, we saw Errol Spence at the weekend against Ugas just looked incredible time and time again. I think, you know, a lot of doubters after the layoff, but shut them all up. We've got to see Terence Crawford and Errol Spence. It's going to happen. I, th I think Spence is a man of his word. Uh, he's fearless. And his approach, he said that he wanted to get the three bells before he faced Terence Crawford. The fight will happen, and it's going to be epic. So, obviously, there was a bit of back and forth about 60-40. It's a 50-50 fight. Do, is, do you think that could potentially get in the way of what would be one of the biggest fights we've seen in a long, long time? Uh, I, I think I think both guys got to give and take. Both guys got to give and take, and they got to negotiate it uh, to where both camps are are happy with it. I wouldn't mind seeing a 50-50, uh, a 50-50 fight, but. You know, it's not my negotiations, it's Terrence and Spencer's negotiations. It's up to those guys to get the fight done any way they can. Prediction for that fight if it gets made? I'm going, I'm doing Terrence Crawford by knockout, either 9 or 10. 10 round. Ah, you know what? 
I think I said 11 rounds on my buddy. I said 11 round. I'm going Terrence Crawford knockout. I just think that uh, he just has more. He has more more to him, man. You know, switch southpaw, right handed, can punch, uh, supreme accuracy and timing. I'm gonna go with Terrence Crawford, man. Like I'm always going with him. I know Spence. He's a he's a machine. He comes forward. He's, he has high volume, and he can isolate a lot of the stuff with his volume. But Crawford, that's that's my guy. I'm I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with Crawford. TB, thank you for your time, my brother.